All right, guys, let's take a look at the Ball Engineer 3 Marvelite chronometer grade ice blue in the 40 millimeter. Ball watches, probably, I don't want to say the most underrated watch, but they're definitely underrated. Every time I handle one, I'm like, these things are great. And this is one of my favorites, too. Not maybe this colorway, but like this design, the Marvelite, because it has really good design cues that I like. Let's cover this thing. First off, I have to say big thanks to Nick and the crew at Exquisite Timepieces in Naples, Florida. That's where this one was sent in from. So I could check it out, share it with you guys, and you guys can check it out. So I'll put a link to their website and their store information and direct contact information right to Nick. Tell him I sent you. It's all down below in the description. So let's get into the size of this thing. It is a 40 millimeter wide case. The lug to lug is 47. You can see high polish, you can see my reflection. Thickness 12.8 millimeter, not including the Cyclops for the date. Has 20 millimeter lug width and this bracelet is an H-link, tapering down to 18 millimeter. You have a butterfly clasp system. You have a really nice oil pressed case back here showing off a locomotive. I'll try to do a close up of that in a minute. You have a six millimeter screw down crown keeping the 100 meter water depth rating on this thing. Inside is the Ball RR1103-C movement which is a chronometer grade COSC. They do a couple things to it. Obviously they do a rotor and they maybe uh, dial it in a little bit more than the factory specs of it, but it's essentially either gonna be an ETA 2824 or a Salita SW200, depending on what they can source at the time. That, you know, a lot of companies will do that. They'll name the movement, they'll put their rotor on it and do a couple things to it, and they'll name the movement. That gives them the freedom to source whatever is available to them. But Ball does have, in their lineup, their own in-house movements. That's just not what's in this one. The retail price on this, is $23.49. However, pretty much when I looked at the website at Exquisite, I think all of the ball watches are on sale. I think this one's like, again, snapshot in time. It's like $18.79. So you're under the two grand mark. I'm not, it's, it's a lot of money, guys, but these are a lot of watches. A lot of watch for your money, I mean. So those large indices that look kind of funny, that's because they're they have tritium tubes in them. Really nice bright ones too. Also tritium tubes on the hour, minute, and seconds hand. Seconds hand has a counterbalance of RR. I like that. I think it stands for railroad though. I don't want to get my hopes up too much. This ice blue does look really good with that polished handset and the polishing on the watch. There's a lot of polishing on the watch. There's a lot of polishing on the bracelet too. So some people might have a concern about it getting scratched up. Yeah, it's going to get scratched up. I'm uh, pretty certain of that. But you just roll with it. Nice butterfly clasp. I can't really clasp it down because there's too much tags and everything going on there. But let's take a look at that case back. Uh, I want to orientate it so it's right side up for you. There you go. Since 1891, Ball Watch Company. Yeah, do a little uh, search on Ball Watch Company on their the historical side of things they had some really cool pocket watches and everything and uh, just a great brand overall let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist see what that looks like i can't clasp it down but man that is a perfect size for me and it's extremely comfortable i'm not a huge fan of butterfly clasp but i can i can manage There's the UV light you can kind of see. Let's um, let's kill the lights and I don't know how well this will show up. Yeah, you can definitely see it. There's green and then there's orange. If I shine the UV light on it, it really comes alive. You can definitely see it there. But even without the UV light, so that's the beauty of the tritium watches is once your eyes adjust to the complete darkness, blows away you know, regular Superluminova or anything like that. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.